finding out is that this pipe is pretty bent so what I'm gonna do is uh, buy an expander go get one borrow one or something because I'm gonna need to get this expanded to get on but it does go on there for a little bit so I could test it out and give you guys a before and after a little sound test to see if these things actually work which I know they do and it'll make the truck really loud so let me start her up and everything but it kind of sucks that it is kind of bent but whatever we'll still be able to show you the sound of the exhaust tip with the uh, <laughs> oh yeah there we go about to remote start the ram just press the times two button twice start her up Anytime. holy cow <laughs> Speaking of the devil, then we got a Cummins right there. Highway. Oh my. I'm not giving it any more diesel or acceleration than I normally do. This truck just sounds so much better, 100 times better than any of the other setups that I used to have before. Now with that eight inch tip, it's gonna be pretty crazy, but of course I didn't want to damage or hurt it any, so I'm gonna be getting the exact things that I need. I still have a lot of other stuff coming in the mail as well. Just gotta wait up, but that was definitely a cool sneak peek of what this truck sounds like with the eight inch tip, and I'm glad that I got one. And it's cool that it came with the exhaust, and I got a phenomenal deal on the exhaust as it is, so this is pretty cool. has a fourth gen but it's like the 2018 sport package grill on it wish i could have showed you that it also rubbed it pretty good that was a nice truck oh and look at that also a nice truck so just sitting here at idle you can hear like a low rumble or like a v8 sound from the back of the truck it reminds me of the silverado like i said before so the exhaust definitely makes a big impact on the sound and before, I don't even know, it was just kind of like a loud diesel and everything was rattling and vibrating in here, kind of like an old diesel. 
So that's basically what it was before, but now it's it's closer to a V8, even though this is an inline six truck. And this is honestly so cool. I love the exhaust so much. I, I could talk about it forever. This is so awesome. If you guys are thinking about getting exhaust for your truck, it's definitely worth it. Definitely. Holy crap, look at that Chevy. Oh my goodness. What is that, 37s on a, oh my gosh. I don't know if you saw that. I don't know if I captured that right, but that was sick. I, th I don't follow cars too often, but I think I just saw an Audi R8. I swear I just saw one go by. That was crazy. Holy cow, that thing was nice. Hey, but nothing beats a Cummins, though. <laughs> Exhaust brake. Thing sounds weird now. Fishing spot. It's gonna give you an overlook. Wow, it smells like a box. Honestly, that's exactly what it reminds me of now. Whenever I, whenever I hop on the bus when I was really young. Honestly, taking that cat off has completely changed the smell. The exhaust sounds nothing like the engine noise. The engine noise is loud, and then you come back here, and it's just complete. It's literally, this truck makes so much noise of two different tones. It's crazy, man. It's great. See, I'll move to the front, and the tone will change completely. It's just weird, because the newest trucks nowadays are nowhere near. Loud. Have you ever noticed the newest trucks now, all diesel ones, especially the gas, of course the gases have always been quiet, but the diesels now, the new diesels, they're all super quiet now, so all you hear is with an exhaust, which they even made those sound different, so there's just, there's so many differences with all these trucks in different years and everything that you got to be really careful of whenever you're picking out your truck. Wait a minute here, wait just a minute here. What, is, what do we have here? Holy cow, look at that. It's my truck right there, it's so weird. Look at that, oh my gosh, I need those rims though. Those are some nice rims. Where that guy in the 5.9 was idling there for literally like an hour. It's been so long. All right guys, just went there to I don't know if you can see it. Bed bath, and I tried to get some stuff for the house, you know, but they didn't have it. Oh yeah, also forgot to set the parking brake. Remember the this truck still has the recall where it can shift out of park anytime. We are back in the Ram now, and look at that, I'm also wearing the Ram shirt. Haha, <laughs> so we got the bag right here. Just bought a whole just huge supply, giant bag of rugs again. So and it would be also, you know, when they get old, nice uh, floor mats for the truck. <laughs> Starter up. It's actually pretty rainy out today. It did downpour earlier. It wasn't like that tropical storm just like the other day. That was pretty bad when I got rid of those old Silverado tires. Glad they're gone, but I mean, I did love those tires. So starter up. It's about to sound really nice. Yes. Even from the inside, I can really appreciate the sound of this truck. So you may be wondering, do I have satellite radio in this truck? And it is equipped with Sirius, as you can read right there. 
but the thing is though is that I don't have service in this one I don't think you can transfer it so for a long time people with satellite radio I'd say it's worth it there used to be a program offered where you could buy a lifetime a lifetime subscription to satellite radio unfortunately they don't offer that anymore otherwise I'd buy that but for the people that did buy it back then they still have their service now a lifetime a lifetime supply of it so that's pretty cool that they were able to obtain that I wish I did if anyone has that let me know below that's pretty cool it's a big lever down here I like it just got to release that parking brake don't want to drive with that so I was looking up online because I was I was uh, I, I was curious about it and apparently you can actually drive on the highway four high I don't recommend doing that I've only ever used four four wheel drive in conditions where I get stuck or very muddy conditions snowy conditions while going slow